If you either want to lose weight or get super strong to the point that you can bench 225 pounds for reps or deadlift 3, squat 4, in the fitness world you can do that in two different routes or you can pick two different routes, I should say. The right way or the pathetic way? And it sounds like in 2024 a lot of people are picking the wrong way. Why? Well, mainly for clout and other reasons, you know, feel their own egos and whatnot. But into this video, I'm going to show you what the big influencers are doing. They are actually reacting to this. By the way, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoy pandas, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of, I don't know, today. But let's get right into it. 2024, it's become an epidemic. More people than ever before are glorifying the use of steroids. People say, no, Coach Greg, you glorify it and all this stuff. I talk about the good, the bad. One of the reasons why I like Greg to say it is because he is actually right. Like he talks about the good, the bad, the ugly. He's very open with back in the day he used to do, as you can tell. The point that he's trying to make is like, yes, if you're going to talk about this, you know, taking PEDs like you famous influencer, right? Please make sure to point out that this is now all, you know, beautiful and, and, and amazing. You're making younger, impressionable audiences want to use and abuse steroids. And why? Well, why do you think? Look at Sam Sulik. Look at the Trend Twins. Look at the muscles on all these influencers with millions of followers. You would say, oh, well, why do you care? What does that matter? Well, just think about this. If we let this type of stuff keep on going without someone making sure that it's, this is like properly done, properly explained, there are a few channels that are doing it in the proper way, like more play, more dates. He's very good. Derek explains everything to the point that you know exactly what's going to happen if you decide to hop on those things. Like, like you're not going to be having the best time of your life if you do that kind of stuff. Why? Because you're going to hit some numbers. Yes, you're going to probably, you know, bench four plates right at the age of 21. But that doesn't mean that you are going to be living at the age of 31. I'm a lifetime natural bodybuilder. And these are my testosterone levels right now. 485 nanograms per deciliter. Jeff Nippert is only at 487 nanograms per deciliter. When you look on the internet, people think, oh my God, that's so low, you can't build muscle. Fun fact, when I did my test uh, exam back in 2020, 2021, I came at 250 NGDL. So, but even then I was able to hit PRs, hit new records and get the physique that I wanted. So, that's just an excuse whenever you see someone say, hey, yeah, I have low testosterone. No, you probably have bad nutrition or you're not even taking the training to the point that you're supposed to be doing it naturally. Doesn't mean you need HRT, SARMs, SERMs. Also doesn't mean you need enclomaphene. You just need to go to the gym and train. More and more fitness influencers are opening up about their anabolic use. In theory, this honesty is a good thing, but this kind of backfired. The big difference is that a lot of the kids that will probably get the things on their FYP and on TikTok or Reels are more in line with the user, with the person that is promoting that. Uh, kids are in their 20s, they're gonna be more relatable to, you know, influencers that are in their 20s as well. And by kids, I mean someone, you know, 16, 17, 18, 19. A bunch of you guys are still under your parents' insurance, so... When you eventually come off, you'll quickly lose a good chunk of the size that you put on and feel smaller than ever. Exactly. Yes, it's amazing. Why? Because a lot of people don't understand this. Once you hop on something, once you hop on TRT, whatever type of stuff that you're trying to put on your body, you need to do that for the rest of your life. And if you don't do that, you're going to lose the gains that you got because there are fake gains, there are borrow gains. The heart scans and, and procedure consult with a professional coach who does this for a living. All right there, what you saw was a few of the things that you, sh you can do if you are trying to do this the right way, which at the end of the day, there's no right way. It's just a way that will probably mitigate some of the side effects that you will get while taking the performance enhancing supplements. But the number one thing that you gotta keep in mind is talking to the people that are probably going to compete because they're talking about finding a coach and whatnot. And for the most part, we know that people are doing this is just to fill their own egos and they don't really are going to compete. They don't even have the discipline to get into the nutritional plan that they're supposed to be getting to compete in bodybuilding. A lot of these kids are doing this PDs or SARMs, whatever you want to call it. They're just doing it because they want to get the fame online, get some clout and whatnot. And 
of course they get you know the sponsorships james shark all that until about your mid-20s i would say there's a high probability that uh steroids will stunt your brain development to a significant extent and there you have it phd a doctor said the same thing that i've been telling you for months you are under 25 years old your brain is now fully developed and all these chemicals are going to damage the progress of growing your brain but in today's day and age no matter how big you are you can be 200 pounds of muscle you scroll the internet and in five minutes you found someone bigger and better than you and what greg is saying is something that you've probably seen you've experienced yourself like you are on instagram or on tiktok you're scrolling and then you see someone that is probably what 16 17 years old and just two times the size that you are if you really care about those things then i guess there's something you gotta work on mentally because you should not be caring about whatever you see online that's a conversation for another channel i guess in here i'm just gonna tell you this there will always be someone that looks better than you you just have to compete against yourself and make yourself look better than yesterday that's all you have to do just make sure you're doing your own thing and be happy with it find a lift that you enjoy find a pose that you enjoy do that if you're doing a, this amateur or if you're not trying to compete in any federation or anything you can do this naturally and you can find groups online and follow the right people that will actually make you feel you know excited to keep going to the gym because your fitness journey is personal and it shouldn't be anything uh, similar to the next person if you don't enjoy doing one thing just don't do it like why why would you do it look life is too short and you probably enjoy going to the gym now but you might not enjoy doing it later and i will leave you with this guys just do this naturally if you're not gonna compete why would you do anything why would you put anything in your body that will cut your life short quit putting kids on gear judging from your profile pic you need gear no but on a real note imagine having such a low iq moment and, uh, another one uh, also another psychological side effect some types of your intelligence degrade over time with steroid use this was tested in people currently using steroids and people who used to use steroids. Imagine having such a low IQ moment. If you made it this far, please let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole topic. If you have any recommendations for this channel, let me know. It's all about natural bodybuilding. That's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.